in this video, I'm going to discuss about UPS SK 016-2013-2014, question number 7. So, let's start. So, look at the question. Referring to iodate ion, draw a draw all possible Lewis structure, 3 marks. So, when the question asks you to draw all possible Lewis structure, you're supposed to draw structure that have all single bond. Structure that have one double bond, structure that have two double bond, structure that have three double bond. Okay, how to draw Lewis structure? Referring to lecture notes, there are five steps in drawing Lewis structure. Step number one, you have to determine central atom and count valence electron. As I state here, central central atom for iodine ion is iodine. Why iodine? Because iodine are iodine is more electropositive than oxygen. Total valence electron for iodate ion. Iodine 7, oxygen 18, 25. Plus 1. Why plus 1 here? Because iodate ion receive 1 electron. Minus here. Receive 1 electron. So step 2. Draw single bond and calculate the non-bonding electron. 26 minus 6. 3 single bond. 2, 4, 6. 20. After that, step 3. Complete the octet of the terminal atom. 20 minus 18 because the terminal atom is oxygen. 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, 6 is 18. 20 minus 18. The, um, 2. Step 4, place any remaining electron at the central atom. So, 2 is the remaining electron. We put 2 at the iodine because iodine is the central atom. 1, 2. Okay, done. After, draw, after you draw the Lewis structure, you have to calculate the formal charge. Referring to lecture note, um, formula to calculate formal charge is total number of valence electron minus total number of lone pair electron plus half total number of bonding electron. Okay, we take uh, this oxygen as an example. Total number of valence electron for oxygen is negative 1 minus total number of lone pair electron 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 plus half total number of bonding electron, 2. So, we get the answer, 1. Okay, so 3 mark, we're going to get from this structure, this structure, this structure. Okay. 2 Roman. Choose the most double level structure, explain, 2 mark. So, you have at least give 2 points. Okay, let's look at the answer. The most double level structure is structure for because it has lowest formal charge. The electronegative formal charge belongs to the more electronegative atom oxygen. Is it true? Okay, so look. So let's look at structure 4. Structure 4 has the lowest formal charge than the other structure. Structure, uh, structure 4 also has a um, more electronegative formal charge Uh, the electronegative form of charge belong to the more electronegative electronegative atom oxygen. The more electronegative oxygen structure for form of charge for oxygen 0, 0, 0. Structure 3, 0, 0, negative 1. Structure 2, 0, negative 1, negative 1. Structure 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. So, structure 4 has more Electronegative atom oxygen. So, structure 4 is the most stable Lewis structure. Okay. So, 3 Roman. Explain why iodate ion disobey object rule. 2 marks. So, you have to state 2 points. Iodate ion disobey octet rule because it is expanded octet. Okay, expanded octet is the exception for octet rule in the lecture note because it has more than 8 valence electron around the central atom. Let's look at the structure. Okay, like this. 
two, four, six, eight, ten. It's more than eight electron, right? This one. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. So that's why it's obey. That's why it's this obey object rule. One point and then you will got one mark. So another one point due to the existence of empty orbital that allow iodine to expand its structure. One mark for the one point. Yeah. Okay. So the last question is by using Lewis structure, show and label the three type of chemical bonding that exists in an ionic compound, ammonium chloride and H4Cl. Three marks. Three marks here will be given for the three type of chemical bonding that you show and label. You must show and label. Okay. So ammonium chloride from form from NH3 plus HCl. So at 7a, I already told you how to draw Lewis structure. You just have to follow five steps. You just have to follow the five step, okay? So and as the central atom, two remaining here put at the central atom, H as the terminal atom, plus chlorine as the central atom, remaining chlorine as the central atom, remaining six here put at the central atom, H as the uh, terminal atom. So this one is the reactant. Form this one. Okay, the ionic bond, the product. So, you have to state the covalent bond, the dative bond, the ionic bond here. Don't forget to label, okay? You will get one mark here, one mark for covalent bond, one mark for dative bond, and then one mark for ionic bond. Okay, done. I think that's all for question number seven. I hope you understand. If not, you can refer to Madam Kong. Okay, thank you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.